Hi, my name is David Trapella, and I live in Austin, Texas. And I've written many messages that I've received over the years. And I did have a near-death experience, and I was given a choice to stay or come back. I came back because I said to them, none of these writings are mine. I'm simply a transient. Let me go back and put these writings out to the people of this world. And if I can help one find their way home, then I had a meaningful purpose for being on this planet. So today, as I do my writings, most people do their writings and just put them up. I don't want to do that. I want to tell you what was going on in my life that day when that writing came about. Because it makes the writing more meaningful. Because the days that I had Many of us have had, you've had. And I want to correlate that. So the first writing that I'm going to share with you is one called My World. I wrote this in 1992. And when you watch the video, you'll see what my world was made of. At the time, there was a lot of darkness in my life. My wife had committed suicide. Uh, I had lost everything that I had, bankrupt for millions of dollars. Hotels gone, apartments gone, everything in my life is gone materially. Not only that, I had the police at the door, lawyers, because I had all these properties uh, going into bankruptcy, people knocking on the door. I told the police, what are you going to take from me? I don't have anything but furniture. And then there was the problem of my home itself. I thought it would go away. I had no income. I was in my 50s. I think that's what it was. And there was a lot of darkness in my life at that time. I had virtually lost everything that my wife and I had worked 20 years for her. And so as the darkness, I look at today, I look at the darkness that has come over the earth. This is a time we have a thing called the coronavirus. And the year is 2020. I'm 82 years old. And in my lifetime, I have never seen the world shut down and not one shot has been fired. What has shut us down? Coronavirus? I don't think so. Is the virus real? I think so. Does it kill people? I think so. But think about this. The world is locked up into their home. This is a darkness. This is this great darkness that comes on us. It's beyond our understanding, I believe. 
But when this darkness comes on us, like it was in my life at that time, I didn't know what to do. So what I did is what I suggested maybe some of y'all would like to do. I sat down and I asked the divine source, please help me. Guide me in my life. For you are the true master of all that exists. Tell me what is going on with this fear that I have in my life, in this world. What is the matter with my world? And if you liked the video, it would be nice if you would subscribe and ring the bell. And every time I'll do a new one, you'll be noticed and you'll be able to see it. And I will tell the story. This has been my life. This darkness has come over all of us when we didn't know what to do. We just were lost. So I hope you enjoy this video that I did. It's called My World. My world. The clouds gather and darkness starts to close in on me. Troubles are all around me. My problems overwhelm me. I reach out to try and find a hand to hold on to. But it is so dark, how would one find me? What can I do? I fall to my knees and I shout to this man called Abba, Lord of Lords, Abba. I ask a simple question. What is wrong with my world? Very quietly, I hear in my heart, come into my world and all fear will disappear. I have told you I am the light. Why do you not believe this? Your world is a world of illusions of which you, man, have built. If you do not find my world, though you are alive, you are dead. If you believe that the flesh has to fall off of your bones for death to be final, you are already dead. So my children, if you are in your world, that is fine, but always be of my world.